supports, you need to, I always say on your body, you need to have two spots that are gonna hold your security or your money, your valuables, right? So your passport is not gonna go next to where you're always getting into for your bus fare for buying things. Because if that's the case, the security is already breached because it's right next to where somebody's gonna pickpocket, right? That's why money belts are so important. Now you notice, I've got money belts that are not a belt, but more of a neck bond. I actually opt for these kinds. And not just that, but I like to have ones that are longer than the others. The reason why I would say the longer ones is because I have more versatility with these. For example, on this one, I'm, you know, a lot of them have these little, these little uh, buttons at the top. I like to, to uh, change it so it goes right to the bottom of it. So is it getting there? There we go. So now I don't have it around my neck. That was one of the things that was always bothering me on my neck. I went to Russia when I was 20, and I just wore this just to get into the country, and it was just like, it's so annoying. I don't want anything extra around here. Or a belt one, that belt one, or you're then having to adjust every time, and then you have to sit down. It's like this big cowboy buckle that you're trying to sit down, and you have that passport right there. Okay, so number one, this is your first, first position. Your second one, you have the option of, you know, making it a little bit longer, then you go over under. And depending on your torso length, you can have it go down into your skirt or pants. You know, if you think about that, how much easier is that to flip out and get into security that way and show them a passport and then tuck it back into, you know, your, it will look like you're in your pant pocket, right? So that would be another one. The other way is now we're adjusting this again and we are around on our waist. So the waist continues to go down here. So this place is going to be easier to adjust versus to having something this way. So anytime you have it, it's not on a bend point, right? So that's another, another way we can use this. That's why I've liked the neck ones better than the other ones. Another, another step that we need to talk about is RFID. Do you guys be aware of what RFID is or radio frequency ID chip is? Mm -hmm. All passports, well they started in 2006, but 2009, all passports have it in them. So if you were to, there's that, that, this one actually has an RFID shield inside of it. This one does not. The majority of, of neck wallets do not. If you do not have one, you do have the option of adding that to it as well. Um, so what that means is your passport is emitting a signal that if somebody were to have an RFID reader, which you can look on YouTube and learn how to do it, um, they can get your biographical information off of it. We don't want that. So what is that? Aluminum foil. It's all this is that protects it. So credit cards, some credit cards have that. We want to protect those. You have a lot of identity theft coming out. A lot of it has to do with people are getting smarter about that. Why would they do that? It, it actually does help them, like on the black market, if you do lose your, lose your uh, passport, they can't duplicate it. Because if you were to get behind that passport picture ID and take a razor blade, and open it up, you have all sorts of wires. So there's a lot more technology involved in our passports. So it's kind of, you know, a double-edged sword there. All we need to do is make sure we know how to protect our stuff. So, and the other thing is this material versus polyester is gonna be much more comfortable against your body than like a little polyester. You're gonna get like a little sweaty patch wherever that's at.